Hallo. Uh, I have modified and I have corrected this code. And you can see there is a CO2 sensor and a file of CO2 values along with date, time, same stamp and the sample value which is in gram per kilowatt hour. And this is the main file which will be read. So the sensor data that has been collected into this Excel sheet will be loaded into MATLAB and then each CO2 intensity value will be studied. If the CO2 intensity is above a certain threshold value, then uh, if it is above the threshold, then it will be checked if the battery is not fully charged, then the battery charging will start. If the battery is fully charged, then it will read the next value. And the next intensity values will be read and the process will continue. And if the battery voltage, which is uh, less than the threshold value, it is not larger than threshold value, then it will be checked if the battery intensity, uh, if the battery charging is empty, if the battery is empty, then it will be discharged the process of discharging if it, if it is not empty then the battery will start getting discharged if it is empty then the next value will be read so this is the outdated algorithm that i have provided with this code and if you see i applied a one megawatt inverter and the battery capacity is 8 megawatt hour so what will be the total charging time it will take 8 hour to charge if i run this code you will see it will take about 8 hour to charge and this is the battery charging percentage and the value is above certain threshold the battery will get charged and this value is below a certain threshold and the battery will start discharging and it will start to get charged when it is 100 so it was stop so this process will keep on to continue and see that now it will start to charging because the values are getting uh, increasing and now it will start decreasing so battery has started to get just discharge after zero there is no further discharge portion so it stopped now you can see that it is charging and it's again discharging. You can see it's again charging, it's then again discharging. And it will keep on charging and discharging. This process will continue. So this is the plot, updated plot. Inverter power can be changed. For example, I can convert it into 0 0.1. And if I run this code, it will take about 80 hours to completely charge. So this process will keep on, it will, it will remain continue. You can change the battery capacity. Battery capacity is 2 megawatt hours, so total charging time will be 20 hours. So this is the updated code, I will explain the code line by line. I have loaded the system generation 1 generation and CO2 in generation values into the table and after that I have defined the battery charging as 100% and then I have loaded a certain parameter for the CO2 intensity I have loaded the second column the second column contain the gram per kilowatt hour value so all the values are being stored in the data variable and then after that I have defined inverter and capacity these are the two variables they get value from the graphical user interface like whatever you enter here will be stored in this variable in this variable and whatever you store here will be stored in this variable so the charging time will be the capacity divided by inverter inverter power so whatever is the value in the charging time it will be displayed at this position 
so this value charging time is displayed at the total charging time uh, field of the GUI after that I have created the time stamp for the access like you can see over here if I run the code you can see there are a few uh, different type of the time stamps over here and when the complete one day reading is completed for the complete one day you can see the date is going to change from 30 it has switched into 31 this is the next day intensity values and if you if you see that after 24 hours the date is going to change and the crop is going to replace itself it switched into the next date it's one first number so it, this process will keep on continue well let me explain the code to you so this is the x values and these are the x ticks after you can see that these are the y intensity values the values of the graph these values you can see these are the values of the intensity in gram per kilowatt hour so I have created a loop which will run for the for 96 values because 96 values will cover one complete day so a segment of 96 value will be collected from the from this excel sheet you can see over here from 2 to 97 you can see this is the 30th date values and after that 98 to 193 these are the next day values so for each date for one complete day the value of the power will be extracted from the excel sheet and then it will be processed how it will be processed a complete set of 96 values which represent one day data will be used over here so the information will be transferred into the information sysgen variable and intensity value of the car will be copied into the y well coint variable and then after that the x-axis value will be copied over here all the x-axis values and along with the y-axis values both will be concatenated and then it will be plotted over here they are plotted over here you can see that the ax11 which is the which is the you can see this is a tag value of the <coughs> access plot you can see the tag the tag is access one <coughs> so it will be plotted over here so this is access one one in this access one one the values will be displayed and uh, the date time and year values will be concatenated and it will be displayed at the title position you look into this you will see there is a title which contain the date values so the y label and x label which are the which are being displayed at these positions after that it will be checked if the current power is above uh, the if it is below the average power average power is the threshold value if it is below the, the average value then what will happen is it will check if the battery is empty the battery percentage is above a certain portion of the value if the battery the battery charging is okay then it will be it will be discharged the battery percentage the percentage of the battery charging will be reduced by this intensity and then the status will be shown 
hit whether the battery is going to getting charging getting charged or getting discharged so you can see that you can see that there is a is something you can see that there is a status that the battery is charging or discharging or whatever you can see the battery discharging has started so the label has changed so the battery will status will change to the discharging it will be displayed into the field of the status and here is a percentage sign you can see over here that will be displayed within the uh, field of the charging intensity value so if it is not so the power value is not less than the average power it is above the average power then it will be checked if the battery intensity is uh, battery capacity is not full if the battery charging or the battery capacity of the charge is below a certain level then it will be charged it will be charged by by this amount of power which will be supplied to the battery so this process will continue the battery will sometime going to get charged and sometime it will start going to get discharged then the battery status and the battery percentage will be displayed at this position so this is a complete code these are the callback functions which have been generated while creating this guide or the GUI tool editor thank you so much you can use this code if you feel any problem you can discuss it with me thank you so much